internationally, the world is appalled at what's happening here on the border. The system has to fall, and it will fall because it can't support these atrocities any longer. We fight to defend community. We fight to defend women and our rights. And we fight to build and construct the future and the community that our children and the future generations deserve. In this center that you see back here, that is where our people are held. That is where the women and children are held. This is where this, this whole horrible process begins. And we are here to be loud with our poems, with our songs, with our danza, with our drums, with everything that is in us, and we will hold them accountable, and we will not stop until every single one of the women and children are free. <laughs> What's unique about El Paso, there's a lot of good things about it, the weather, the people, the sense of community, the way that people rally together when somebody is fighting a battle. The bad things is the political influence that is held this county, this town, under rain for so long, oppressive conditions, the border patrol abuse, the aggression, the militarization, this is nothing new to us here on the border. But now in the era of Trump, what was once covert is overt in your face hatred. There's no other way to describe it as just sheer hate and racism. They are not detention centers. They are concentration camps. They don't have the basic necessities, water, toothbrush, or any kind of medical care. I am not responsible for what my government's doing. I am responsible for speaking out against these atrocities. And so that's what we're doing here, and this is the stronghold for us. Brian Stevenson said the most beautiful thing the other day. He said in the time that he spent with people, he realized hearing their stories, he had become broken. And I want to say it's our job as artists to be broken and to live in brokenness, to sit with the poor, to climb inside those suffering and invite them to make a home inside us. When Eve Ensler uh, made the call, um, you know, to you know bring artists and activists into this space today, I think the point and purpose was for us to be reminded that we have every right and every ability to create together, to create a new world together, and I think that that is the most powerful space that we could begin to even. Um, process what's happening to our children, to our families, to the migrants, to the refugees here on the border. Today I watched capitalism walk on water and people play dead so that they could be part of a miracle. My revolution is willing to die for this. My revolution is ready to live big. Events like this where people from such diverse communities, activists and artists and workers and um, filmmakers all come together both to share stories but to also learn and to be educated can be equally if not more powerful in terms of storytelling and drawing attention to an issue, helping people understand things like the fact that family separation hasn't ended. It's ended in terms of every family that comes across the border, but there are still hundreds. There are more than 700 children who've been taken from their parents since the official policy ended. Um, and so I think it's events like these are incredibly important for sharing information, for organizing, and for helping people find ways to talk about this issue so that they can help change policy because that's what's worked in the past and we think it's what will work in the future. It took me being here today to really understand this present administration and most elected officials are leaving people behind those walls to die. We're representing a lot more people that couldn't be here today and we'll continue and we'll double 
the next time we do this because the chaotic nature of this government um, is going to require like a whole other level of organizing that is going to be really new for a lot of us. I think it's important in teachings that we tell people we're not about reform. We got to abolish all these systems. They're not reformable. You know, it's 2019. We got to up the game now. So we got a lot of work to do.